In a forsaken city where time stands still, prepare to embark on a journey through the chilling depths of the abandoned city. A story of curses, sacrifices, and the relentless pursuit of truth awaits. The city of Ravensbrook had once been a thriving metropolis, a beacon of life and prosperity nestled between the towering peaks of the Black Ridge Mountains. Its streets were filled with the laughter of children, the hustle and bustle of the market, and the soothing hum of the factories. But that was long ago, before the darkness descended upon it, before the curse of abandonment gripped its heart. Now, Ravensbrook was a desolate, haunted shell of its former self. Its once vibrant buildings stood as silent sentinels, their windows shattered, their walls bearing the scars of time and decay. The streets were overgrown with gnarled trees and creeping vines, and the air was thick with an eerie stillness that sent shivers down the spine of anyone who dared to enter. In the heart of the city, there stood a mansion unlike any other, a looming, decrepit structure known simply as the Ravenswood Manor. It was a place whispered about in hushed tones, where rumors of ghostly apparitions and unspeakable horrors swirled like a never-ending mist. On a chilly autumn evening, a lone figure approached the city's outskirts, drawn by an inexplicable force. Emma, a curious journalist with a penchant for the macabre, had heard the legends of Ravensbrook and its cursed mansion. As she pushed her way through the thick underbrush that surrounded the city, her heart raced with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting long, ominous shadows that seemed to stretch out and welcome her. The first thing Emma noticed as she stepped onto the cobblestone streets of Ravensbrook was the overwhelming sense of isolation. She couldn't shake the feeling that the city itself was watching her every move, as if it had been waiting for her arrival. Emma's flashlight pierced the darkness, revealing graffiti-covered walls and shattered storefronts. The remnants of a forgotten civilization lay strewn across the cobblestones, like a grim reminder of what once was. She followed the winding streets deeper into the heart of the city, her footsteps echoing through the silence. It wasn't long before she came upon the mansion, the Ravenswood Manor. Its grandeur was undeniable, even in its state of decay, Towering turrets, gothic arches, and ivy-covered walls gave it an air of malevolent beauty. Emma couldn't help but be drawn to it, compelled to uncover the secrets it held within. As she stepped through the mansion's broken gates, a chill ran down her spine. The interior was a maze of decrepit hallways, their walls adorned with faded portraits and broken mirrors. Dust danced in the beam of her flashlight, creating a surreal, otherworldly atmosphere. Emma's footsteps echoed through the empty halls as she ventured deeper into the mansion. She couldn't ignore the sensation that she was not alone, that something or someone was watching her every move. It was as if the very walls of the Ravenswood Manor held memories of the past, and they were unwilling to let her forget. She reached a grand, cobweb-covered staircase that spiraled upward, disappearing into darkness. Taking a deep breath, Emma began her ascent, her hand trailing along the ornate railing. With each step, the air grew heavier, the atmosphere more oppressive. At the top of the staircase, she found herself in a dimly lit corridor. The walls were lined with portraits, their subjects staring out with hollow eyes and twisted smiles. Emma's heart pounded in her chest as she examined one of the portraits an elegant woman with raven black hair, her eyes betraying a deep sadness. A sudden gust of wind extinguished Emma's flashlight, plunging her into darkness. Panic welled up within her as she fumbled for her phone, using its feeble glow to navigate the corridor. The mansion seemed to come alive with sinister whispers and phantom footsteps closing in around her. And then, as if guided by an unseen hand, Emma found herself standing before a grand, ornate door. It beckoned to her, its surface etched with intricate patterns and symbols. She hesitated for a moment, her pulse quickening, before summoning the courage to turn the handle.
Beyond the door lay a chamber bathed in an eerie bluish light. In the center of the room, atop a stone pedestal, rested a book, the source of the haunting glow. Emma approached it cautiously, her fingers trembling as she reached out to touch the ancient tome. As she opened the book, its pages whispered secrets of a forgotten city, of a curse that had trapped its inhabitants in a timeless nightmare. The words spoke of a darkness that hungered for souls, of a malevolent force that had claimed Ravensbrook as its own. Emma's heart raced as she realized the truth. The city was not abandoned by choice, but by an insidious curse that had endured for centuries. And now, she had become a part of it, entangled in its web of despair. With trembling hands, she closed the book, vowing to uncover the mysteries of Ravensbrook and break the curse that bound it. Little did she know that her journey into the heart of darkness had only just begun, and the horrors that awaited her were beyond anything she could have imagined. Emma's discovery in the cursed mansion had ignited a relentless curiosity within her. She couldn't simply close the book and walk away, not when it held the key to the city's dark past and the malevolent force that still clung to it. With newfound determination, she decided to delve deeper into the mysteries of Ravensbrook. The bluish light of the chamber bathed her in an ethereal glow as she continued to study the ancient tome. Its pages were filled with cryptic symbols, intricate illustrations, and passages that spoke of rituals and sacrifices. It was as if the book itself held the collective memories of those who had suffered in the city. Hours turned into days as Emma lost herself in her research, scouring every corner of the Ravenswood Manor for clues. She ventured deeper into its labyrinthine passages, discovering hidden chambers and secret corridors that seemed to defy the laws of space and time. In one particularly chilling discovery, Emma stumbled upon a room filled with forgotten toys, a haunting tableau frozen in time. Dust-covered dolls with empty eyes stared at her, their silence a stark reminder of the children who had once played within these walls. It sent a shiver down her spine, and she couldn't help but wonder what had befallen the innocent souls who had once inhabited this place. As the days passed, Emma's obsession with Ravensbrook grew. She was haunted by restless nights, filled with vivid nightmares of shadowy figures and whispered threats. Yet, she pressed on, determined to unravel the city's secrets and put an end to the curse that had ensnared it. One evening, as she pored over the ancient tome, a voice echoed through the chamber, a soft, mournful whisper that sent a chill down her spine. Leave this place, it urged, its words filled with an otherworldly sorrow. Emma's heart raced as she looked around, her flashlight illuminating nothing but empty air. She was not alone in the chamber, yet she could see no one. The voice continued to plead with her, growing more desperate with each word. You must go before it claims you too. Fear gnawed at Emma's resolve, but she couldn't bring herself to leave. She needed answers, and the voice, whoever or whatever it belonged to, held the key to the truth. Who are you? she asked, her voice trembling. The chamber seemed to grow colder, and the bluish light dimmed. I am a lost soul, trapped in this cursed city for all eternity, the voice replied, its tone filled with anguish. You must not make the same mistake. The darkness that lurks here will consume you. Emma's determination wavered, but she couldn't turn back now. She needed to confront the malevolent force that held Ravensbrook in its thrall. Tell me how to break the curse, she implored. The voice fell silent for a moment, as if considering her request. There is a price to pay, it finally said. To break the curse, you must offer a sacrifice, one that holds great meaning to you. Emma's mind raced as she contemplated the cryptic message. What could she possibly sacrifice to free the city from its torment? The voice offered no further guidance, and the chamber returned to its eerie stillness. Determined to uncover the truth, Emma continued her exploration of Ravensbrook. 
She ventured into the city's decaying library, hoping to find more information about the curse and its origins. The shelves were filled with dusty tomes and ancient manuscripts, each holding a piece of the puzzle. As she combed through the books, she came across a journal written by a former resident of Ravensbrook, a man named Samuel Hawthorne. His words spoke of a forbidden ritual, performed by a secret society that had once thrived in the city. It was this ritual that had unleashed the curse, binding the souls of the inhabitants to Ravensbrook for eternity. The journal hinted at a hidden chamber beneath the city, an ancient crypt where the ritual had taken place. Emma knew that this was the key to breaking the curse. She had to find the crypt and confront the malevolent force that lurked within. Armed with newfound knowledge, Emma embarked on a perilous journey deep beneath the city's surface, guided by the cryptic writings of Samuel Hawthorne. The tunnels were dark and treacherous, their walls lined with eerie symbols that seemed to pulse with malevolence. As she ventured deeper into the bowels of Ravensbrook, Emma could feel the presence of the unseen forces growing stronger. Whispers filled the air, taunting her, and shadowy figures danced at the edge of her vision. She pressed on, her heart filled with a mixture of dread and determination. At last, she reached the entrance to the hidden crypt, an ancient, ornate door adorned with symbols of power and darkness. As she pushed it open, a surge of malevolent energy washed over her, threatening to engulf her very soul. But Emma was undeterred. She had come too far to turn back now. The crypt was a chamber of eerie beauty and malevolent power. Dimly lit by flickering torches that lined the walls, it seemed to exist outside of time itself. The air was thick with an oppressive silence, broken only by the echoing drip of water and the faint whispers that seemed to emanate from the very stone. In the center of the crypt stood an ancient altar, its surface adorned with symbols and markings that pulsed with an ominous energy. Before the altar lay a shallow pit, its purpose clear, a place for sacrifice. Emma's heart raced as she approached the altar, the weight of the curse pressing down on her shoulders. She knew what she had to do, but the thought of making a sacrifice weighed heavily on her conscience. The voice she had heard in the mansion echoed in her mind, urging her to turn back, to save herself. But she couldn't. The fate of Ravensbrook and its tormented souls rested on her shoulders. She took a deep breath and made her decision. With trembling hands, she reached into her backpack and withdrew a small, leather-bound journal, the only possession she had carried with her into the city. It was a memento of her late mother, filled with memories and cherished moments. Tears welled in her eyes as she placed it on the altar, a token of the sacrifice she was willing to make. As she stepped back, the symbols on the altar began to glow with an eerie intensity. The very air seemed to vibrate with power, and the chamber filled with a haunting chorus of whispers. Emma watched in awe and trepidation as the room transformed, as if it were alive, responding to her sacrifice. The shadows coalesced, forming a swirling vortex of darkness at the center of the pit. It writhed and contorted, taking on a sinister, humanoid shape. A pair of gleaming crimson eyes stared out from the abyss, fixating on Emma. You have done well, brave soul. A voice echoed from the depths of the vortex, a voice that sent chills down Emma's spine. But the curse cannot be broken without one final trial. The malevolent force within the pit began to solidify, taking on a form that was both beautiful and terrifying, a spectral figure clad in flowing robes of darkness. It floated above the altar, its eyes locked on Emma. What more must I do? She asked, her voice quivering. The spectral figure extended a shadowy hand, its fingers elongating into tendrils that reached for the leather-bound journal. It was as if it hungered for the memories and emotions contained within. You must surrender the memories of your past, the emotions that bind you to this world, it intoned. Emma hesitated, 
her gaze fixed on the journal that held the last remnants of her mother's presence. She knew that this was the final, agonizing sacrifice required to break the curse. With tears streaming down her face, she nodded and offered up the journal to the spectral figure. As the journal was consumed by the darkness, Emma felt a profound sense of loss and emptiness. Memories of her mother, moments of joy and sorrow, were torn from her heart and devoured by the malevolent force. It was a harrowing experience, as if a part of her very soul had been ripped away. The spectral figure seemed to grow stronger with each memory it consumed, its form becoming more defined, more real. It floated above the altar, its eyes no longer malevolent, but filled with a haunting sadness. Thank you, it whispered, its voice a mournful sigh. You have broken the curse, and now I am free. The chamber trembled, and the symbols on the altar faded. The oppressive presence that had hung over Ravensbrook for centuries began to dissipate, like a fog lifting from the city. Emma watched in awe as the once malevolent force dissipated into the air, leaving behind only a sense of profound peace. Ravensbrook had been saved. The curse had been broken. Exhausted and emotionally drained, Emma collapsed to her knees, her tears mixing with the memories she had sacrificed. She knew that her journey had come to an end, that she had fulfilled her purpose in the abandoned city. In the days that followed, the city of Ravensbrook underwent a transformation. The once decaying buildings began to regain their former grandeur, and the streets came alive with the sounds of life and laughter. It was as if the curse had never existed, as if the city had been reborn. Emma knew that her sacrifice had not been in vain, she had not only saved Ravensbrook, but had also found a measure of closure for herself. As she stood on the revitalized streets, she felt a gentle breeze that seemed to carry with it a whisper, a word of gratitude from the city itself. And so, the tale of the abandoned city came to an end, a story of darkness and redemption, of sacrifice and salvation. Emma's journey had been one of courage and determination, a journey that had led her to confront the unseen forces that lurked in the shadows. As she walked away from Ravensbrook, she carried with her the memories of her mother, now etched in her heart, and the knowledge that sometimes, in the face of unimaginable darkness, even the most unlikely heroes could emerge victorious. The End If you've enjoyed your stay in the enigmatic world of The Abandoned City, Keep the adventure alive by liking, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. Stay tuned for more captivating stories.